Imagine what if electric car batteries became so cheap that making and buying an EV became infinitely easier than ever before. Now this future is coming closer to reality as cattle has achieved something no one expected. Cattle recently introduced its new sodium-ion battery, a battery that is not only cheaper than lithium but also performs well in cold weather. It's being called a cheap and powerful alternative to lithium. According to reports, this battery relies neither on lithium nor cobalt, meaning it will have a significant impact on both battery manufacturing costs and the environment. Many experts believe that if this technology is adopted on a large scale, it could completely change the game for the EV industry. The question is, what has KATL created that could disrupt the entire EV industry? Is lithium's reign in batteries about to end? And the biggest question, is this technology truly practical or just another hoax? You'll find the answers to all of these in this video. So stay tuned until the end because the information that's about to unfold will change your perception of EVs. And yes, subscribe to the channel before proceeding to the video so you can be the first to see more. Before learning about KTL's new market-shattering battery, let's understand a little about the company. And if you have even the slightest interest in electric vehicles or the battery industry, you've likely heard this name. This Chinese company is considered the world's largest battery manufacturer today. The meaning is clear. Every major electric car you see today, whether it's Tesla, BMW, or a giant like BYD, is powered by KATL batteries. Cattle was founded in 2011, and no one could have imagined that in just 10 or 12 years, it would become the kingmaker of the battery world. Headquartered in Fujian Province, China, the company boasts large-scale production plants that produce millions of batteries annually. Cattle initially manufactured batteries for mobile phones and storage devices. But as demand for electric vehicles increased, the company focused its efforts on EV batteries, and that's where its true growth began. Tesla, BMW, Mercedes-Benz, Hyundai, Kia, Ford, Honda and Volvo all purchase batteries from CL in one way or another, or collaborate with them on projects. Even major Chinese companies like BYD, which manufactures its own batteries, respect CL's technology. This means that if KTL introduces a new battery technology, it impacts not just China or Asia, but the entire global automobile industry. The key to Quattle's success lies in its focus on research and development. The company spends billions of dollars annually on R&D to be the first to develop next-generation battery technology. And that's why, well, other companies were busy making small improvements to lithium batteries. CL was already working on new batteries like sodium, LMFP, and solid-state batteries. CL's team consists of thousands of engineers around the world who work day and night to make batteries cheaper, safer, and longer lasting. There was a time when people thought companies like Tesla would rule the world by developing their own batteries, but the reality is that it's companies like CL that are truly changing the game. Even Elon Musk's Tesla has relied on CL batteries for many projects. Most notably, the Chinese-made versions of the Model 3 and Model Y use KATL's LFP, lithium iron phosphate batteries. It was KATL that made LFP technology a massive success, which helped lower the prices of EVs to some extent. So now you hear that CL has introduced a new sodium ion battery that can replace lithium. Limitations of lithium batteries, what's the real problem? Now let's discuss the real limitations of lithium batteries, the reason why the entire world is now searching for the next battery technology. When the craze for electric vehicles grew, lithium ion batteries were considered a miracle. They were lightweight, stored more energy, and charged quickly. But over time, 
their shortcomings began to emerge, and today these shortcomings have become the biggest obstacle for the EV industry. First, let's talk about price. Lithium is a very precious metal, and its value has increased exponentially in the past few years. While the price of a ton of lithium was around six thousand dollars in 2020, it reached eighty thousand dollars by 2022. This fluctuation directly impacts the cost of EVs. Meaning, if lithium becomes expensive, cars will also become expensive, and this is why EVs remain out of reach even today. Mining to extract lithium is a complex and harmful process. It's mostly extracted from desert areas or saltwater lakes, especially in South American countries like Chile, Bolivia, and Argentina. Extracting one ton of lithium requires approximately two million liters of water. Imagine how harmful extracting such large quantities of water is to both the environment and local communities in areas where water is already scarce. Supply chain problems are also significant. Lithium mining has long raised environmental concerns. It uses a large amount of water and can impact the surrounding soil and air quality. Studies show that lithium extraction sites. Often affect nearby land and agriculture, leading to growing calls for more sustainable mining methods. Another challenge involves the materials used in batteries. For instance, some metals are sourced from regions where mining practices still need stronger safety and labor standards. This highlights that even green technologies come with complex realities that need responsible solutions. Recycling is also a major issue. Millions of used lithium batteries are being discarded each year, and the recycling process remains costly and technically difficult. In many places, there's still no efficient system for managing old batteries, increasing the risk of environmental contamination. From a technical point of view, lithium batteries face performance limitations. They tend to lose efficiency in very cold weather, which can reduce the driving range of electric vehicles. On the other hand, overheating can lead to safety risks. These challenges have motivated major companies to explore better alternatives, asking the big question: What comes after lithium? Some are developing solid-state batteries; others are researching sodium-ion or graphene-based technologies; and many are turning toward hydrogen fuel cells. The goal is clear: to create batteries that are safer, more affordable, and more sustainable. So, what exactly is a sodium-ion battery?